we're doing baby girls three no wow how old are you it's so hard yeah welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new for today's video we're going to do baby girl's second month update which i'm super late to because she's three and a half months old so i want to just hurry up and get it because before i know it she's gonna be too big and she won't look like a two month old because look at her she's huge <laughs> she's so chunky she loves looking at herself oh is that you you're a baby oh <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be careful because we just ate and I don't want to spit up on. So we started her second month by sizing up in diapers. She literally, the day she turned two months old, we used her last newborn diaper, which was barely fitting her. So we just went on and started to unsize one diapers. It was literally perfect timing because she was getting too big for them and we were literally finishing ours also this month she got her vaccines she only got two of them because of the stuff that's going on right now i don't want to say the name of it but you know the virus that's going on um they were short vaccines so she only got two and it was so very sad she i have a vlog of that day of her getting them so she oh yeah um the nurse stuck her leg she cried stuck the other leg she cried and then she was done it was really really crazy oh no why didn't i i missed her i missed that what happened i'm sorry girl i didn't know you speed up it's like mom i ate too much but because of them being low on vaccines, I had to be put on a waiting list to come back, which was fine. But it was sad because then she had to go through that again, like kind of like frequently, but it's fine. Um, but at that appointment, um, the, um, what's her name? Pediatrician. Oh my God. What is she called? Um, the pediatrician said that, um, she's kind of been behind my breastfeeding journey as much as my lactation consultants. So she kind of pointed me in the direction I needed to go, which kind of led to my success in it. So at that appointment, she asked me if we were off the nipple shield, and I said, nope, we can only breastfeed the nipple shield. She goes, nope, take it away. She's done. She does not need it. And honestly, that was the first time I looked at a pediatrician, and I was like, um, really? Like, I, like she knows the struggle that we did to get to that point and just for her to be like no you need to take it away today start it take it away and I was so stinking nervous so we went home that day and I was like all right fine the pediatrician said it so we took the nipple shield off and she just latched like like we never had a problem before she latched like she was a freaking pro and we have not used the nipple shield since then and she's three and, three and a half months now, so you can do the math. Um, this month, she did start smiling. She was kind of always grinning and like a little smile here and there, but like it was a genuine smile started. And she hasn't stopped since. She's such a smiley, happy baby. I freaking love it. It's so hard. Yeah, same. It's so hard to be down or in a bad mood or something when she's around you because she'll just smile for no reason. When she wakes up, it's the sweetest thing. Like, ugh, she just steals your heart. Um, this month, she started holding her head up. She actually been holding her head up for a long... I know. Literally, she was sleeping not that long ago. You were so tired, huh? Probably because she ate a lot, but... Anyways, this month, she started holding her head up, like, for real on her own. She kind of always been really good. Ever since we got home from the hospital, she kind of was pretty good at holding her head. I don't know if that's normal, because I know, like, babies do hold their head to, like, get to the breast and whatever. So, it's not abnormal, but she kind of been doing it for a long time. But she officially was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm strong now, you know? And um, she always showed signs of sitting up. So, we started using her Bumbo at two months i know it sounds a little early but we did it for a few minutes at a time and she loves it because she's gotten at this point was sick of laying down all day sick of tummy time she just wanted to be up so we did start um using the bumbo 
and I don't want to do her update now, but she's really good at sitting up right now. Like, it's astonishing how she's doing it so early. Anyways, um, back to the appointment. She was, <laughs> she's 95 percentile for her weight and height. Her head, for some reason, is like 75 or... I kind of forgot. I didn't write it down. I totally forgot. But she has this tiny head, but she has a big body, and she's very tall. Um, she was 24 inches and 14 pounds. And a girl in my support group, she had her baby is three or four weeks older, and he weighed like he weighed less than her. I can't think, mom brain. So she's a chunky monkey. Um, and her second month. Second week into her second month, she started wearing three month clothes to three to six month clothes. She could still wear zero to three a little bit, but if it had pants or like foot part in it, she couldn't wear it. She was way too tall for it. So right now we're struggling with clothes because she has to wear it like bigger than she is. And I don't have a whole lot past six months right now. And she's like squeezing them chunky thighs <laughs> into all her clothes. Um, she started becoming more alert at this point. She, um, yeah, yeah, she, um, she started recognizing her voice, or her voice, I'm so dumb, she, she started recognizing our voices when we would say her name, so, um, before, like, she just would follow us with her eyes, but then when we finally, like, she finally got to the point where if we're like, Historia, she would, like, Try to find where, who, where like we said it or who said it or whatever. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's really cool now because I'll just say her name and she'll be like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, okay. And her, oh, for a long period, m majority of her second month, I think it lasted three weeks. It was horrible she clustered feed every single night and it would start exactly at 6 p.m until she finally went to bed this is before she kind of got in a sleep schedule so she was still going to bed at random times which was fine for me <laughs> because i'm just home with her it was totally fine but that cluster feeding was really hard especially because we were still like half using the shield just now getting off the shield not breastfeeding all day long i was still pumping giving her the bottle at this point so it was eating every hour every half hour it was a struggle i'm very glad we were past that i hope it doesn't come back which i think it might but it was just it was rough um she did yeah she did um like shortly after her beginning cluster feeding she did start sleeping a little bit longer stretches at night i think it's because when she finally got full enough she would sleep longer so the longest she slept was five hours which was amazing because at this point i'm exhausted <laughs> like i didn't get a lot of sleep and when she started sleeping longer stretches uh things just got a lot easier let me tell you she started teething like crazy now it's a lot more but in her second month when she started teething she was upset about it but now she's just chewing slobbering and so i don't know it's a lot more now but she was more upset with it last month um we did have a problem with her gas um she she's still really gassy she farts all the time but it was a little hard for her to pass it, I guess. I don't really know. Um, no matter what we did, she just had so much gas. So I got Little Remedies gas drops. It works amazing. I either put it in her bottle or sometimes I just put it in her mouth and then I feed her. She actually kind of likes it. I know it's kind of weird. I thought like she would be like, oh, gross, what the hell am I eating? <laughs> but she kind of just takes it like a champ. I think she just... I don't want to say this, I'm probably just speaking prematurely, but I feel like she's almost ready to eat food, but she's not there yet. I just, I feel like she would. She would do really good if I were to start, but obviously I know I can't. Um, I'm sorry, girl, I'm almost done. Another thing, I think it's the last thing I want to mention, um, but she, okay, she likes watching TV, right? Now she'll pay attention to the TV almost every time it's on. But before, she would only watch the TV when she heard The Office come on. So, like, when The Office theme song would play 
or when she hear like Dwight or Michael she would like look for the TV and watch it because it's like pretty much all we ever watched so it's like all she heard in the womb so it's kind of funny because her middle name is based off of Dwight in the office his name is Rain Wilson and her middle name's Rain so I think it's kind of funny that she was intrigued by that show. Now, I hate to update her now, but now she likes to regularly watch TV. So, and it's like a good and bad thing. Like, she's um, more alert, but she doesn't need that habit right now. But we watch, we literally just like have, we have the TV on and Netflix playing. We don't always are watching it. So, I don't know. It's just like, I guess it's a bad habit of us because we can be in the cup complete other room and Netflix is just on in the other room. Yeah. You eating that hand? Goodness. Goodness. But I I think that's it for her second month update. Yeah. I cannot wait to do her three third month update because um Woo. Maybe we need another nap. But um I can't wait to do her third month update because so much has happened. If you can tell. This is, I'm going to get mad in two minutes, Mom. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in our next update. Bye, guys.